go again. So technical analysis, chart patterns. This is a continuation of Power of Two, uh, the stock market series. So in this uh, session, we'll talk about the framework of the, the of the technical analysis. Where is it coming from? Uh, we'll talk about the cycles of the market uh, and how it uh, moves with the uh, economic cycle. We'll talk about Mr. Market for a while and uh, how his emotions sometimes affect the investors of the market or the traders of the market. And then we'll uh, wind it up with the Dow theory and what it means for us investors. So without further ado, let's get it on. So the technical analysis comes from uh, the, the understanding that uh, not everything is measurable in terms of the financial statements. Now, so there are people who believe that market action uh, may sometimes defy what is in the statements, the financial statements. And they would say, you know, uh, sometimes a company would uh, put in a lot of income, the income is so high and yet the action of the price is not showing it or sometimes there are companies with with uh, poor showing in the income or you know forgettable showing the income uh, scenario or sometimes they're not earning at all and yet if you will look at the market activity it's so high so you know sometimes uh, you get this <clears throat> from traders and they will say you know just uh, ignore everything that you that you see written and just focus on the chart the the things that are happening before you because this is already a summary of what the market has analyzed the stock with so uh, it's like saying that whatever all the investors and all the traders have studied in the in the financial statements and all that it is already being reflected in the in the charts in the prices and volume so the theoretical framework of the technical analysis is that it is a method of evaluating securities by analyzing the statistics generated by the market activity for example prices <coughs> movement of the prices volume uh, the, so for example in 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 terms of prices and volume sometimes market action is defined by what we call the price action uh, whatever the the volume is in terms of uh, the prices is the prices or the prices going up uh, with how much volume so we are talking here about demand and supply so therefore open interest from the market okay so next we talk about the theory that market moves in cycles so this is a very good uh, drawing or illustration about how the market moves in cycles so so if the market is in a, uh, is in a state of uh, trending you know bullishly so it's an upward trend you will see a lot of people are so optimistic about it they're so excited because they have made it uh, in the stock market maybe they have bought, brought somewhere here below and now they are earning 10 20 percent from their investment and then they would tell themselves hey wow i'm so smart and then it will come to a point in time when they're so euphoric, everybody's posting on social media. Sometimes people would even write complete books, all right? So, but uh, as we said in the previous, uh, you know, analysis called the fundamental analysis, sometimes it is best to be a contrarian because at this point in time, uh, during the euphoric stage, then that's the point of maximum financial risk. Everybody is is buying higher and higher and higher so we are re we are being reminded that stock market is like you know you, you bought you when you bought a stock it's like uh, a big uh, a matchstick that you light and then you pass it on from person to person whoever is holding the matchstick at the end then he will get burned and usually that is the person who bought at the top but nobody knows that you have bought at the top and 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 until such a time that it goes down so first first uh, thing that will happen is that it will correct quote unquote so this is a point of anxiety and then some people say well it's just a temporary setback i'm a long-term investor and then it goes down some more 
and and people will start you know denying that they made a mistake sometimes they they bought somewhere here down and then they they saw all this they did not sell but then now they're starting to lose their money and they're still in a, uh, they're still in a state of denial no no it's still come, going up we've seen how it w works you know the the bull market is still fresh in their minds and then it goes down some more there's then fear starting to to come in and then there's desperation and panic capitulation how could i have been so wrong now you're down 20 percent 30 percent despondency and uh, to a point where everybody's saying oh no stock market doesn't work i've lost all my money this is a point of maximum financial opportunity if you bought somewhere here then still there will be depression the market is going up or they will say there's such a thing as a dead cat's bounce you know when when a, a cat is already dead you try to kick it, it it still you know bounces up but it's already dead hope there's hope then maybe there's relief oh okay uh, the market is going up again and then there's optimism again so if you will see this is just a cycle and the problem with with the market this illustration doesn't happen in in one sweep like this uh, like for example if you're in a euphoric stage it corrects and then sometimes it goes up again and then it goes down again and then it goes up again but if you will notice the long term if you will smooth the curve then this is what how it uh, how it looks like okay so <clears throat> we more or less we we spoke about this in the previous um, presentation this is called the economic in the market cycle what it says here is that sometimes well most of the times economic cycle is the, not the same as the stock market cycle so for example during the early bull of the market usually the market the, the economics uh, of the of the industry or of the country is going through some rough times and then by the time it goes to recovery and it's already going up then that's the time that the market is already topping so to speak so that's why some people would say you know if you will look at the financial statements the financial statements reflect a history so you will not be aware of the immediate turns because you are already looking at the past of the, the of the company so that's why some of them would not look at the financial statements anymore so that's the thing that's why a lot of people have become technical analyst or chartist so to speak because uh, they don't want to look at this anymore so we spoke about this at length in the previous uh, slides so we'll not talk about this anymore so market <coughs> emotion cycle if you look at this this is exactly what uh, Benjamin Graham said uh, wrote in the past and also what Warren Buffett said but Benjamin Graham is the is the teacher of uh, Warren Buffett he said you know Mr. Market is is uh, sick sometimes he's so euphoric sometimes he's so depressed so just take a look at uh, all his pitches because it's, it seem it would seem like as if you are uh, batting you know you're on the batting uh, 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 field and M M mr. market would pitch you uh, you know whatever uh, Meralco at 350 you know if he's euphoric Meralco at 500 and sometimes he would be so sad or so depressed and so panicky <laughs> you know from all this uh, virus then he would say oh uh, Meralco at 200 Meralco at 150 so you know uh, just watch out for those uh, uh, emotional cycle of the market so all this is somehow uh, reminiscent of the Dow theory uh, of old, you know. Uh, Dow is, if you uh, remember, the Dow Jones of the U.S. He is uh, uh, one of the persons at, uh, credited with, uh, you know, attributed with that uh, with the theory. Um, he said that uh, price movements represent all the information available. As I said, it's it's there already. The market has has analyzed it already, regurgitated this already, and it's already reflected in the prices. Prices move in trends. So it's like if you are familiar with the, with the economics uh, of, of, the, of uh, market systems, economic systems, this is called the perfect competition. So he's like saying, uh, the, uh, Mr. Dow, saying that uh, all the information is known about the stocks. 
and that is why it is already reflected and the prices uh, is uh, the prices are the are the manifestation of that uh, history repeats itself or history does not repeat itself but it often rhymes uh, mark twain said pala history does not repeat itself but it often you know uh, rhymes so it's like uh, all this is just saying that uh, if you will focus on the technical analysis you look into the trends of the market and take a look at the trends because it follows certain formation certain movement and usually uh, prices go up and down up and down and they follow some trends so if you know exactly when to come in according to this theory then you would earn a lot of money and you know you will not waste a lot of money riding the the chart downwards if you know that the market is turning downwards so that is the re reason why a lot of people are into chart patterns and technical analysis so let's continue with the next uh, lesson in our next video <music>